Max here from shopsolarkits.com. Today's video is a quick overview on how to mount solar panels. This is gonna be perfect for like a van, an RV, um, maybe a shed, cabin, something like this. Uh, we're gonna go over how to mount using Z brackets. Those are kind of the most uh, simple and straightforward way to mount. It's what most people do for smaller panels, like 100 watt or 200 watt. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video on how to do it properly. But literally, all that it is, is you'll line up on the hole of your solar panel. You'll put your Z bracket over it, run the screw through, and then take the locking nut underneath, start tightening it like this. I now take a socket wrench and tighten it up. We've now got one Z bracket mounted. You continue the process for all four sides and you're done. All right, so now that you have all four Z brackets securely fastened to the panel, the next thing to do is to put the panel onto your, the roof of your structure. So that could be an RV, a van, shed, a cabin, something like that, and screw it down. So I put the panel down on my desk. This is what it's gonna look like had you laid this down on the roof of your van, your RV, uh, your shed, cabin, something like this. It creates about an inch and a half to two inches of space uh, in between the roof and your panel here. And so the next part, all you would do here is screw down into the roof of your uh, structure. Lastly here, a uh, couple of tips. Before you screw your panel down permanently, you're gonna want to, you're gonna wanna make sure the MC4 cabling is out from underneath. You don't want to have it down kind of underneath tucked in in behind and then screw it down it's going to be very difficult to get the cabling out so you're going to want to lift that make sure that your mc4 leads are out the front of the panel so that you can work on it before you screw this down permanently um, what is a good suggestion is to get some type of sealant or caulking like this and put that into the screw hole here first and then drill through that way you're going to minimize uh, the chance of water getting in through your roof if you kind of seal it up beforehand. So I always like to do is uh, put a dab of the sealant uh, onto the top of the screw hole and then drill right through and into the roof at that point. Uh, that should minimize any uh, issues surrounding water that way. 